Today we are going to be looking at a new fiction by Murray Brennan called Questionable Shelter, and we're going to have a look at the things we learn about Rokugan from that fiction, and we're also going to have a discussion about the possible repercussions of that fiction, which could be very interesting and long-ranging. Mm-hmm. The fiction is Questionable Shelter by Marie Brennan. And in this fiction, you know, spoilers to all who haven't read it, go read it now if you like. Ayuchi Shahai and Hantai Tesetsu, under the names Kane and Akio, are in Dragonlands headed to Kan Bulak with Togashi Mitsu, who's disguised as Minoru. They are pretending to be peasants and hanging around doing peasant things and are stuck in the mountains in a snowstorm. And they encounter a group of perfect land sect, including the Ronin Ichiru, Sato, and Yuki. Now, these perfect land sect members enthrall Daisetsu with their teachings, and he decides to stay the winter with them. (gasps) Rebellious teen that he is. Yep. And in, in a sense, that's pretty much, it sounds like not a lot happens, but actually we, we t- uh, the, the journey of getting there is very important. And we get a lot of insights into how they have been getting on since we last saw them and what specifically Togashi Mitsu has been having to deal with this whole time. And I think we get a lot of insight into his character and Daisetsu's. In this. Yes, he spends a lot of time thinking about what a brat Daisetsu is being. <laughs> he is 14. He is 14. In he is day. 14. And he's under a lot of stress and strain. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And there is one thing which I completely missed, which is that three of these perfect land sect we have met before. Indeed. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. So, yes, uh, a Chiro is the runaway son of the Miramoto Daimyo, who has forsaken his position to join the Perfect Land sect of this group. So we've met him before. Sato is a ronin who was a student of Kitsuki Shoman. She was the person in Into the Garden of Lies who was being questioned by the scorpion um, about her student. She left because of the way Shoman was treated in Ryoko Awari and became a member of the Perfect Land sect. And Yuki, who's not a ronin, or, or doesn't appear to be a ronin, is actually the cover persona of Shishoro Miyaku, who is spying on the Perfect Land sect. So she is having a day. Everybody is having a day, but just by coincidence, they've run into this group of three people that they already know, <laughs> that, that have already shown up in the stories that are all the perfect land sect members except the boss. We think that the other two, because there's actually a group of five of them, I think, the other two we don't think have shown up before, but we could be wrong. <laughs> they may have been mentioned. But certainly the the big three, other than the big boss, the well, it's not really the boss, but the person who was in Seas of the Wind, the, who prophesied the return of Shinsei, other than him, pretty much everyone who's been an important character is now showing up here, which is faintly amusing. We do learn a few things about Togashi Mitsu. As we have learned in the Dragon novella, the Togashi tend to remember their past lives, and they are always Togashi. So they, they, each life they come back and end up back in the high house of light. And so Mitsu remembers some of the things that he's done, which possibly includes traveling with another prince on the run back in the seventh century, I, I guess. But a less willing one, a less willing one. <laughs> a less willing one. Yeah, even less willing. <laughs> so apparently history really does repeat itself. <laughs> yep, and he remembers being a courtier and a warrior, all these different lives. So, yep. Yeah.